Ethan Allen submerged to firing depth. And there it goes, Polaris on the way with a nuclear warhead. Right on the second, the missile detonated at the intended altitude at the target point. Service ASROC missiles with nuclear warheads were taken aboard the designated firing ship, the destroyer Agarholm, and her backup, the destroyer Richard B. Anderson and were stowed in their launchers by the ship's regular ASROC crews. Intensive preparations stressed the most advanced safety and protective measures. All was in place and ready. Aboard Agarholm, the ASROC launcher lined up on target. The rocket-propelled ASROC headed toward target. In the foreground is the firing ship. 27 seconds later, the warhead splash is penetrated to its set depth. At this point, the service fuse completed the firing cycle and the burst exploded skyward. As the burst fell back, the base surge formed. A heavily radioactive cloud of spray and mist which spread to nearly one mile in radius. A few seconds later, the detonation bubble collapsed. This caused a new plume to be thrust upward through the primary cloud. And this impressive view of the shock wave spreading across the water was seen by the crew of another helicopter. Beneath the sea, the crew of Razorback experienced the effects of the shock wave in a strong shaking that lasted for 45 seconds. <laughs> 